Oh, all right, 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 all right. Calm down. <laughs> Let's try to get this camera correct. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> I brush my hair with a hand grenade. <laughs> That's how it is. That's the the level of 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 grooming to be expected. It's a hand grenade combing. Hey, Wanamir Levy and Atsuki, how's it going? Oh, let's let's do this. What is that weird? Well, it's kind of not weird because it's kind of the same. It's a little bit, a little bit noisy. Um, I kind of liked it down there, like a watermark. Let's move this text there. Command so people can see. Oh, I wonder what round one means. Hey, Gria. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. Eric, boy, how's it going? Welcome back, Nareda, Dame Deviant. How's it going? Tihana, 1991. Hey, Kirill, how's it going? So, <clears throat> today I will continue on on uh, Miss Monsters, Miss Monster. She suggested um, Sorcerer. <coughs> so, hey Charles, Charles, how's it going? So my plan of what I want to do for today, which, you know, realistically I will make, and uh, I want to improve the face, which is non-existent at the moment. I want to give, I think, a crown of sorts, like a sorcerer's crown, um, some jewelry, I think, and minor tweaks here and there, but I think overall, I mean, with an additional half an hour, I can tweak and, and, and push and pull stuff, but, I hope I'm aiming for Eric Moy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I'm gonna switch off the screen share for one second because I don't want to be showing anything that I shouldn't be showing. Just to be double sure. Uh, one second. Bloop. I started painting on the other hero card um, that I did, which was the, the fire one with Zelda, um, which I'm going to aim to finish as well. I think I'll paint a little bit on it on Friday, you know, try to go back to hero card Friday, um, because I finished the other one, or I, as finished as I'm going to get it, uh, which it ended up lo looking like that. I felt like I would overwork it if I did more because of different fact factors of, of like finish and detail and so on. I was like, ah, let's leave it like this. It's good enough, right? And I posted it. So this is going to be the next one, which is not far off finished, but I will push it a little bit more. Um, there's going to be different. Biggest difference is going to be like focal of, focus of detail to help help looking make it look more finished. Anyways, I'm going to be doing this one. Thank you, uh, Tihana. Yeah. I, I, I kind of like the flow as well. It's a l relaxed, uh, but, but nice. Um, or <laughs> the hair. All right, let's, um, let's, let's try. 
I'm let's um, I'm gonna do a new uh, window. I want to focus in on her face a little bit. I know it's not it's not really good to zoom in, but uh, because I want to, let's say I'm gonna spend ten minutes trying to get a little bit of, of a better face. I think ten minutes, then twenty minutes of accessories. Um, 20 minutes of accessories and uh, color maybe or like a basic color wash because um, because of the nature of the picture I think spending a third of the time on the face I think is because uh, everyone looks at the face first. That's like the, one of the biggest things to keep in mind is to always focus on the face. That's good. Yeah, but that's good. I think it's good. I mean, it's it's a slow burning, slow burning setup, right? It's it's not meant to be rushed. But whenever there is something to, you know, to uh, push. I think it's a great little fallback to go back to and uh, you'll always get support um, a lot of the a lot of people who posted their hero card I felt like it's a little bit too early to comment um, because I would rather them see them uh, push it a little bit further you know, but um, yeah, I, there's some really cool entries in Hero Card Friday uh, or Hero Cards uh, channel on on the Discord. For those who are not subscribers, that that channel is invisible. The idea is, if you're a subscriber, you have the opportunity to, to do a Hero Card, uh, and with that, it just means an illustration like the the Zelda picture I showed um, where I will uh, help you push the illustration forward but then um, <laughs> Unreal Ornament happened I guess hey Iglesias how's it going Uh, yeah, Tihana, so the the bad things about zooming in too much is um, is if you s look on the far right, the, the the canvas on the far right, when we see the whole body of her, um, we uh, we see uh, all the information as a whole like the, the picture as a whole right but the um, for example we are now i am now zoomed in and and sitting and do like fixing her face right but zoomed out we see it completely different and the problem when um when you spend too much time zoomed in your your uh, you're focusing in on details and contrast that uh, that doesn't really matter in the big picture when it comes to um, details and, and information and especially if you zoom in at an early stage which I am doing now which is which is not the most clever thing to do um, is that you set the tone of all the forms based on the level of um, resolution that you're looking at so now I'm looking at it quite zoomed in like I, I I'm basing the whole picture here but the whole picture will be seen here and then 
like the hierarchy of information, the shapes, the values are completely different on the zoomed out version versus versus the zoomed in version version, right? Because we're seeing it or we are creating the painting in different resolutions. And in that return we're looking at it at different contrast and all these things, brush marks and and that's for example a painting classic issues of like when a when you spend too much time on a painting zoomed in and and you zoom out and it loses a lot of the brush marks or a lot of the textures and so on that it becomes too uh, flat not interesting enough that's a sign that you've authored the uh, the painting too zoomed in because now like I am I'm building the painting the her face zoomed in and all the brush marks are based on that zoomed in state and then when I look at the zoomed out like oh it's a little bit overworked maybe I need to simplify some values and that's that's the dangers of um, working in a zoomed out or zoomed in if you if you stay there for too long you you're gonna make smaller decisions that looks larger due to the fact that you are zoomed in hey mda melody uh yeah i do one of the things um one of the things as a subscriber uh, um, if you subscribe you'll get the ability, like I mentioned, to do a hero card where I will push an illustration with you. Um, I mean, I will give you a lot of feedback to really push an illustration and it's consistent. You know, like I will keep giving you feedback on that hero card. And it's like an imitation of a client, um, like a, a card game client brief. Like the proportions are the exact, exact same of a existing client. Uh, I won't give you the brief of the client, but you know, I will treat it treat it the same, the same process kind of. And also, when um, when you're a subscriber, if you want to, you'll get a, a specific sketchbook set up for you on the Discord. That's uh, for you, and in there, I will try my very best to. Um, give you feedback and help you more I usually give feedback sometimes on the share your art channel on the discord but it doesn't happen too often because you know I'm busy but I, I, I try my best to uh, look at every update on all the sketchbooks and comment and help when I see something you know that that I believe you could build on. Uh, and I have done like feedback streams or portfolio critique streams and so on in the past, but it's not a regular thing. Tihana. I mean, it depends on the style uh, about the brush marks. I mean, my personally, what I love is when you see the brush mark. But what you sh you don't want to see is a brush mark just like that, right? You gotta, if you're gonna have it, you're gonna have to, you know, uh, work the the mark so it's not just. Uh, A floating brush mark because that that's never pretty or or if it's a default round brush you know if you see the those kind of things they they are it's not very pretty hey melody um it's an interesting painting. For me, it looks a bit too much um, 
personally on my personal taste too much filters and too little painting but um, as a you know I, it looks like you had fun creating it which is great personally my, I think I think it's a you you would benefit from painting it more than um, clicking uh, or relying rather on on the filters or ease off on the filters and, and show your painting underneath I don't know which order order it is but it looks nice autumn But like I like I said, it's um, it, the good example of um, not balancing the details. Like I mentioned about uh, zooming in too much, you lose that big picture. I felt like on yours, uh, MDA melody is uh, it's the same. Your painting not really the exact same issue, but your painting is lost in in noise like the the picture as a whole is is lost and Kirill, yeah exactly the the trick is is to find the balance between brush mark and and consistency of like readability uh, what i mean about that is is there's a really big import there's a really important part of setting the foundation of a painting as the resolution you're going to see when you display it right traditionally you would paint a painting and start painting a painting take a few step step back because that would probably be usually be the viewing distance right like two meters away maybe one to two, two meters away and you'll stand there and look at the painting you won't like put your face against the painting and go whoa look at that so that's why you, you go back a bit and observe and go oh it's over there it's a little bit funky over here it's a little bit funky like i need to add some cl more clarity in the brush strokes over there and so on and so on and that's why one of the reasons is why you step back and you, you just don't stand and paint uh, really close all the time you need to step back and go okay what have i been doing uh, and where am I, where am i going wrong and because of resolution digital resolution we don't really do that that often which is a really important part of creating images that it's, um, you can't forget that you need to uh, maintain so for me, one thing that I, I like to do is, is um, and I have to keep reminding myself, is to set the foundation, the, the like, the, what's it called? Scaffolding of the painting early and zoomed out. And the tighter I go, I will try my very best to not zoom in until where it's needed so for example like with her face i didn't super noodle the details of her face um, because at the moment it's not needed and uh, the image would break so if i would if i would continue painting on the face i would probably paint from over here moving forward so that I can still make big brush marks and big decisions of value and, and hue and so on and then only then let's say I, I'm happy with the face but I want to enhance it because it's a little bit too too loose I would go in and I, I, I wouldn't correct a lot of the marks this obviously the resolution doesn't allow me but I wouldn't correct the brush marks. I would only um, subtly enhance the brush marks. 
you know, so so that so that when we zoom out, it reads and doesn't look crunched. So a lot of times in illustrations, when they are overworked, um, what usually happens is there's a very high contrast and all the edges when you zoom out look um, like that. Very hard black and white, almost like crunched details. That's because they haven't painted it zoomed out. They have painted it zoomed in. And I'm quite sure that if you at any point would zoom in when there's that kind of high contrast details, you would zoom in a lot, you would start seeing, okay, this is the re resolution the artist have been uh, painting it at because it makes sense zoomed in, or at least more sense. But when you're looking at it, then zoomed out, it's like, uh, just noise. So it's important to to do both and learn uh, and practice to balance both. Where where the like sharp and tight edges should be, where there's uh, a lot more relaxed edges, and when zoomed in, you you add all those edge controlled information, and then you zoom out, you lose it all all just disappears because you have it authored it from the beginning hey planet chaos art it is that is my daily warm-up welcome we raided planet chaos yesterday And that's why, for example, in traditional art, when the art is worthy of a museum <laughs> and you, you go in and like, oh, look at all the details. And then you step back and you go, oh, shit, look at all the details. It means just that they authored the information in the painting correct. That the relationship zoomed in is just as well constructed as zoomed out, i.e. <laughs> you taking a step back. Old school zoom out. Oh, you playing with chaos? Oh, thank you. Well, this is this is. Um, I started it yesterday. Miss Monster suggested I should draw um, sorcerer. So today I am just kind of trying to enhance the the design a bit. The stream, the warm-up is just half an hour. You can see it on the timer. We have uh, 11 minutes left. Uh, but it's an ongoing series of... Um, uh, I call it dark fantasy volume. <laughs> I do a lot of like dark fantasy stuff. Um, fun, fun concepts. Just playing around with the theme. And... Um, design principles, what you would assume something would look like and not look like. Um, oh no, that's not that, that's not dark fantasy. But yeah, so it's, it's a fun kind of, fun concept uh, exploration. And uh, Miss Monster suggested a sorcerer, uh, a, a, a kind, a white sorcerer, because uh, there's a lot of darkness so far in the <laughs> dark fantasy series. So I'm just having fun designing a little, a little bit of a kinder sorcerer. Um, I'm still making her a little bit scary, you know, because why not? Uh, but I do want to make the, her feel uh, like a good, good sorceress. Sorcerer, sorceress, sorceress. Should it, it should be a sorceress, right? Anyways, and uh, I haven't been like running uh, through the gates in, in terms of speed, uh, kind of re relaxed, having some fun, 
having some nice discussions with you all about uh, today we're about um, zooming and the dangers of of zooming in too much it makes it look overworked usually Hey, Captain Boss, how's it going? Oh, cheers, Captain Chaos. It's a fun... Um, it's a fun uh, topic to do. Um, fantasy hard fantasy or dark fantasy in terms of you know you can go a little bit more scarier you can uh, push push the envelope a little bit more which is fun i have a when it comes to fantasy i have an issue with like the men in men in tights type fantasy um, i guess it's old school fantasy the whole kind of men in tights aspect um, so I, I personally, as a concept artist and uh, art director, I, I, I like to uh, formulate approaches and also try to push, push, uh, push ideas. So doing these dark fantasy ones is, is a good opportunity to, to play with uh, archetypes. Hey, the shoe thief has gone. <laughs> One of you never. True. True. It's a hilarious movie, though. Because we're men. We're men in tights. If you don't know, it was a parody of Robin Hood. Like in the. 90s, I think. Hey, the shoe thief. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's just playing with the genre. I want to do the same with fantasy, uh, sci-fi as well at some point, like because there's so many tropes and assumptions of what sci-fi should be. I like the idea of of playing with with what that entails. I wonder if I uploaded that. Uh, a quick look. Yes, I did. I know I did. Um, here, like uh, um, cyberpunk. Like I, I like like to push ideas of how they're used, right? Like she's she she has built-in like, super super legs that she can run away with. You know, and, and to what degree, like, do they use uh, tattoo machines? Maybe they tattoo uh, uh, circuit boards or, you know, a hidden blade inside the arm because of, of the technology and stuff like that. You know, it's, 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 it's fun to play with, with a set of rules when, when, um, Especially when there hasn't been confinements of what's um, allowed and not allowed in terms of art direction, because you know, like dark fantasy, do it for fun. There's no limitation of what you know. I am the art director. Eric, yeah, exactly. I mean, he does care, he does art direct, but he art directs himself, right? There's no one telling him, oh, a little bit less of, you know, he decides himself. He looks at it and goes, ah, okay, I should, you know, bigger this or bigger that. Or <laughs> I said that while drawing on the chest. But yeah, that's that's the fun part, and I did the same. Um, I wonder if I uploaded to ArtStation. I did the same also with um, 
I started already a little bit. There, w there was a, a project we did at Opus. We called it um, a stri Stratum, which uh, I haven't uploaded them all. Uh, but the idea was like um, sci-fi, kind of more believable sci-fi, even though it's fantastical. So it was fun to go back and within those rule sets, like, okay, so if it's sci-fi, how can, how, what does the designs look like? What do they look like? What does the shapes look like? And we, we were our own art directors of, you know, uh, of that. Which was which was fun, you know. You could easily have gone exosuit in a different direction, um, but we wanted more of like a plausible, in a way, um, sci-fi. So for that, it was was like sci-fi, uh, cyberpunk-ish. Yeah, Mobius was. Amazing. He was a really good artist. So same goes for all the client work that we do. We try to do the same for the clients. <coughs> but obviously, when the client, you know, they have their own art direction and uh, their own art director saying, uh, you know, ease off on that more of this uh, and that's fine you know it's just a, a part of the a part of the challenge when they when there is direction uh, to try to navigate the limitations like all of a sudden there's a wall on the right side and you, you you can't you can you know if you really want to you can push up against that wall and try to make it work or you can go to the left or you know it's it's like you, you try to navigate what, what they're giving you in order to, to come up with a good solution that you as an artist uh, think is the best, right? And that's, that's why, for example, they hire you as well. Is, you know, they don't want a robot that does exactly what they say. They want someone that interprets what they say and use their own skill set and, and, and taste to add to it. Obviously, it's easier and more occurs more often, the better you are and the more they trust you. So usually at the beginning, when you're a budding artist, a lot of it, art direction becomes heavier because they need to push you correct, right? But the more seasoned you are, uh, sometimes the client just need to go we want this and as soon as they start saying it you already like fill the gaps with your in your head and you go yep 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 I knew oh yeah like uh, m many times we've prepared like we know that a client wanna do let's say post-apocalyptic right then we prepare and then it's happened so many times in the briefing of the art direction and what they want to do. It's like, yep, that one we have already researched and it was a part of our pre like pre meeting research. That one as well, and that yes, that uh, that's happened to be actually my painting. <laughs> uh, it had happened so many times, um, uh, but it, it just shows, you know, like. As soon every every time they start a, a project, the art director will always try to um, isolate the project from other similar projects within the same genre. And we discussed yesterday about Magic Color, about uh, Elder Scrolls and World of Warcraft, and so on. It's a, it's, a, it's a good good kind of lean into that and how how that feeds into each other it's uh, it's not easy eric yeah exactly what what we usually do as a as a kind of general standard is we we are extremely on the money on one version. Like this is what you asked for. 
here it is. Then we get two and three, version two and three, where we 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 do an alternative take on it and go, you know, like maybe this or maybe like this is the crazy one, <laughs> this is the in between, and this is the safe. What what uh, check the like tick the boxes of what you want, right? So in in that turn, because the art director is not working in vacuum. They they have a team to uh, answer to, right? And uh, ma upper management to answer to as well. So they need to be able to show it to them and go, all right, this is where art has taken the topic, right? And then they can argue it and then they go, oh, actually, most people like the crazy one. Let's go with the crazy one. It fits the art direction, blah, blah, blah. Let's see where it takes us. And then, then you go, you go that way. Zialin, <laughs> it happens, happens now and then. But also, like I've mentioned before, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you get an official letter from the company saying that we are not allowed to show the crazy idea <laughs> that happened to me once. I can talk about it. I have talked about it before, I think. All right. So I'd say this is a good base. Kind of looking like a s white sorcerer, kind of clean, ethereal-esque. I think I could easily push this further. Um, I like the idea of a sorcerer being like academic and clean and a higher class. Um, I think it, it, it's a good start. I think it, it has promise. I will, I will push it further. Um, let's see, who should we raid? Someone about to start a painting. Uh, someone looking at art. What's Tim doing? A box. Maybe not. Junk spur looking at old art. Comic. Environment. Cool. Let's go and raid someone that does environments. Is that correct? Oh. Mm. <laughs> Eric, yeah, that happens as well. All right. Let's go raid this guy. He's doing usually the, some really cool, like isometric environments. Um, have a great day. Good night if you're in that part of the world. Thanks everyone for hanging out. And uh, as per usual, I'm going to switch to the outro. And after the outro, I'm going to take us all to the raid. So c join the raid, and uh, and I'll take it from here. <laughs> have a great one, everyone. And uh, thanks everyone for hanging out. See you tomorrow morning. Toodles.